John Stanton is here. My good friend Phil's here from the running room. How are you? Good. Good, good. Great to be here. Good to see you again. Yeah, and you. I get to see you once a year. That's right. Yeah. Either running time or golf time. That's right. We should get out and golf someday. <laughs> for sure. Um, listen, this is, uh, this, what happens today, fellas? Like uh, for people in the uh, 5 and 10K tomorrow. Yep. And then the marathoners on Sunday. Well, today is a day of rest, is Today it is not? a day of rest. Everybody should be resting today, getting ready for uh, the races tomorrow. No matter what they're in. Yeah, that's right. And a lot of times, uh, if you're in the 5K or, or running tomorrow night, uh, tonight's the night you want to do your carbo loading. Uh, it's not as important for the 5 and 10K as it is for, for the marathon. Really, for Sunday? For Sunday, then you want to complex carbohydrates, which for a lot of people means the pasta dinner. Yeah, the uh, spaghetti. Spaghetti or stir fry or salad, uh, breads, potatoes. Those are all good choices, too. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You got to get ready. You got to really prepare yourself. And this, uh, Phil, we've had so many runners uh, take part in the, uh, uh, the running room courses, yep. right? Uh, for various events. Yeah. This is, uh, this is all... Graduation day. Yeah, <laughs> it all leads up to this, yeah. right? And for so many uh, so many people, it's the first time. Yeah. And that's what's so cool about this thing. Well, that's right. And there's a lot of sort of nervousness around. And a couple of things we do is uh, Saturday morning at 9 o'clock from City Hall, we do a little friendship run. Mm -hmm. And everybody gets together and we give them some last minute tips and get them ready to go. Uh, we show them the start line, show them the finish line, go for a little jog. Everybody kind of calms down because everybody, whether you're running your very first marathon or somebody running their 60th marathon. Yeah. They're all nervous coming in to yeah. race morning. That's part of the, the, the whole excitement around the event. It's funny, every time I see John, of course, I start getting the guilts because I know that, <laughs> you know, you, you weren't always a runner. No, you weren't no, always no. in good shape. No, that's you right. weren't always uh, a fitness guy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, I got back into it. It was my kids that talked me into it. Yeah. It was an event like this in, in uh, Edmonton that really was the. Oh, when, when was that? Uh, you know, that's 30 years ago and now. And then you started the running and room. And then from I started that? the running room. Yeah, because I was this uh, 238 and Phil. And yeah. employed yeah. Phil. <laughs> and a whole <laughs> bunch of other people. Yeah, for over 20 years, too. <laughs> exactly. It's uh, become a it's huge franchise. It's been a marathon franchise. in itself. <laughs> yeah. How many stores are across the country now? Uh, now we've got 118 across Canada, and we're in the U.S. with 10 of them. So we're the, You're Canadian, in the United yeah, States. Yeah, we're now. a Canadian company that snuck under the border and gone that way. You're right, right smart. You are. <laughs> uh, here are some of the things that Phil does have his nipple protectors on now. Yeah. And we make jokes about this, but seriously, yeah. it's a key piece of equipment for a lot of people. Yeah, for sure, especially the half marathon and marathon. Uh, you know, you're wearing technical fabrics, but sometimes you get a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of friction. Chafing in, in yep. any part of your body is, is, is painful. Well, that's right. And, and chafing occurs because you're sweating more. It's the salt in your sweat that causes yeah. the chafing. So you wear nip guards. The other thing is body glide, yeah. uh, which really is, them, is so really thanks. good. Yeah. Body glide is like a stick of deodorant. And uh, it can go on, you know, chafing areas, in, which in are different under, areas. Yeah, so your, under thighs, your arms and in between your, your thighs. For women along the bra line, a lot of times, right, right, right. Uh, right. Where, where, is where they'll chafe. Good up. point. For everybody, uh, water is really important. Yeah. How uh, important is, is hydration? I, what, is that the most well, important thing? It probably is at this stage because you've done your training and you want to have uh, 500 milliliters of water, which is your standard water bottle. You want to have that much uh, within the last two hours before you run, and then throughout the race, you should be sipping water. And we highly encourage people to take water, even though there's water stations on the course yeah, take water with you that, yeah. that way you're having it when you want it uh, too often we're out there and if there isn't a station where you want water you're you're wishing there was or you go by a station saying I don't need it and a hundred yards down you say gee I wish I had taken water so take water with you keeps it the as normal to your training as possible yeah, uh, yeah. All of these things you can find out too at the expo over yeah. there. You can go to the running room yeah. and ask questions yeah. today if you need today, to. Today, yeah, and we're doing a little uh, talk over at the expo and giving people last minute tips over there. They can drop by the booth and we'll be around. Yeah. And anybody's but, got any questions, we can answer. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow because both uh, Phil and John are instrumental in, in making things happen along with a great crew of volunteers yeah. and people uh, behind the scenes. Yeah. So we'll be uh, getting people ready for the 10K tomorrow. Yep. Uh, and then Phil and I are going to be at the finish line tomorrow, so I'll help do some announcing. Right? It's so, exciting. And it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing yeah. nothing like watching these people, these 10,000 people, yeah. uh, leave at the at the start line and see them come through in the finish line. Yeah. Well, if you want to get motivated to run, stand around that finish line. You can't help but get inspired. Yeah. I'll get inspired again tomorrow. <laughs> I know it's going to happen. One for, day for I'm going to do run, it. For Army Run Half. I, yeah. We could have One you One day. We could have you ready. It happened to you, right? Yeah, that's right. Maybe I'll come up with some great idea and have a company. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, fellas, a pleasure. Thanks for taking some time out of a busy schedule to come see us, and uh, we'll see you on the weekend. Great to be Hope here. Hope it's very successful. By the way, uh, there's John's book, uh, you know, in one of several books that he's put together about running, and uh, it is, uh, you know, for those of you who have never done it, believe me, 
uh, you can, and it explains it uh, right in those pages right there. 757, it's all about uh, Ottawa Race Weekend on the show today. We'll get more uh, going a little after uh, 8 o'clock. We'll be right back.